Howdy, folks. Well, today let's see what our uh, let's see what our new mission is. Thirty blue or red spells. Oh, I love it when the mission is blue because I love my my blue deck here. It's actually a blue green deck. I, I call it my blue green domination. I just this morning added two new two new cards to it. Uh, two clever conjurer cards. Here they are, right there. So, uh, untap target permanent. Not named clever, uh, clever conjurer. Activate only as a sorcery. So this card, I'm really excited to try it. I hope I'm going to get it into this game. We'll find out. Um, the ability to untap things is great because a lot of the cards that I play, the lands especially, I shouldn't say a lot. I should say some of the cards that I play have this card enters tapped. Um, so yeah, that's going to help out a lot. Not to mention if I have an enchantment on a land that gives me extra land or whatever. You know, I mean, uh, uh, a, a land with a wolf attached to it, uh, which gives me one extra mana. Now that land is going to give me four mana. So, and if I were to put, if I were to put two enchantments on one land, that would give me six mana. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Any day, any day, where's the Voodoo? Okay, so here's my opponent, Voodoo. That's pretty steampunky. A lot of electricity going through his fingers there. So we've got three lands and a cultivate. This looks good. This is all right. We've got two counter spells, but I won't be able to use them until I get six mana. And then one more mana, and we're going to get Cura Beach the Seagull. <laughs> Wait, we're going to put this one first because it's tapping. Hey, I haven't seen this puppet. That's really cool. Look at this little puppet here. I've never seen that before. Okay, so we are going to put in a regular land so we can put in our pixie. So now our next turn. Sure, good game. Oh. That either means that he's hoping for a good game or it means that he's about to do something. Something is, he else is going to kick my butt or, or something. Uh, all right, we're going to drop this in. Uh, we're going to drop this in. Put it on the forest. We'll auto pay. And, uh, wait, 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 what? Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I should have put it on the... Oh, maybe I couldn't have done it in any way. I don't know. Cultivate. And we're going to go for a, an, an island and a forest. We'll drop the forest in there. You know what? I'm really screwing this up. This is now the second time I'm not going to be able to play the, the pixie. Hmm. Well, since I can't play anything anyways, I'm going to play that one. I'm going to drop a Shadow Spear. Okay, so he got something out before I was able to get the counter spell ready. That's a shame. But, now we've got... Kyora beats the sea. I don't think he's going to survive. Normally, normally, uh, I don't ever get to finish a game. If I get Luke out, or if I get this one out, they just put all of this. Uh, I don't understand it. it. It's not, it's not a crazy, crazy powerful card. But for some reason, when I put out either Ugin, uh, the one that I can, you know, automatically do three points of damage every turn to it, whatever. Or Kiora Beats the Sea God. Either one of those two cards. And I would say 90%, maybe 95% of the time, my opponent quits on me. Not normally this soon. Usually they quit when it's down to, you know, one or two turns and I'm going to destroy them. But it's 95% of the time that they quit. I don't know why this guy quit so quick, though. He must know that he's just got a crap hand, I guess. So, unfortunately, I only got a chance to do two of my, my mission here. Wait, no, no, hell no. Uh, so, yeah. 
Should we do it again right now? Let's do it again right now. Let's play. Let's just do it again. Kalidas. Am I pronouncing that right? Kalidas? Kalidas? <gasps> We've got two Ugin the Spirit Dragons. You might think, what's the point? They're legendary. You can't have them both out at the same time. I'll tell you why. You put one out, you just drain it. You just exhaust it. And then drop the other one out. It would get rid of the first one, but now, bam, all of a sudden you got all these extra points that you can use. So. It's a good thing to have. Uh, we are going to put. Uh, I, I would no, no, no. We're going to put this out. We're going to drop the pixie right away. When it dies, if it was a creature, return it to the battlefield. Oh my god. If it's an aura, enchantment with enchant force, you can draw blah, 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 blah. Don't have time to read it all. All right, so. What are we going to do now, guys? What are we going to put out now? We're going to put out this one. And this one, which this one draw. And I think we're just going to take the damage. We're not going to block that at all. Hmm. No, no, thank you. Not gonna break. I gotta get rid of that guard for sure. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got six mana out there. Let's put some more out there. We're gonna get the spirit dragon on the next turn here. We'll take a forest and we'll take an island. We'll drop the forest out there. We're looking good, guys. We are looking good. I'm gonna put this guy out there. I think maybe I might block his questing beast. There's a chance that I might block his questing beast. So, the one problem here is that Ugin is not going to have enough damage to kill either of those two. So, I might have to drain it. Which means I might as well block, block these now, right? So, that's what we're going to do. Oh, I can't block him? What? Alright, well, I'll just... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, if I block this, I won't have enough. I almost just made a huge mistake. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I can't block anything. I've got to just. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. He thinks the game is over now. I know he does. Just put put out something. Put out another creature so I have one more thing I can destroy. Whoever gets a creature out first. I'm gonna suck a little bit there. Alright, so we're gonna put this out. Destroy. Accidentally, uh, I know, foolish, silly, etc. But I'm going to be putting out the other one anyway, so it didn't really matter. Oh no, my game is frozen. What the hell? Oh, I didn't think about that. 
that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna need one more land before we can bring them out. So first off, put this down. Hopefully he's not gonna have any more really big creatures until I, until I get a chance to build up a little bit of a defense here. I think I've got enough mana to actually play that, too. Look at this. Look at this. A 60-60 creature. Thank you very much. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Wait till I do a ram through with that thing. Could you imagine if I could do a ram through? Hey, is there a card that's like ram through, but it will also let me target my opponent or a planeswalker? Or, or I mean, there must be. So basically, what's a card that's like ram through, but allows me to target a player as well? Because I'll drop that on, on, uh, on, on this right here. Crops. Plus three, plus three. Oh, it's crap. Look at what this guy's doing over there. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Okay, we're going to play this. I don't think he's I'll going to attack elsewhere. me with my 60-60 there. I could attack him right now, but he's just going to block with his, I don't know, his stupid 2-2 two -two or something, and then that'll be the end. Uh, I mean, I won't have anything to defend against, so we don't want to do that. All right, we're just going to wait for the next turn. You know, some of the art on here is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Ah, uh, shoot. Of course, yeah. Well, I'm going to use the ram through on his ape on this next turn. He's thinking, I'm going to attack, whittle me down a little tiny bit, and then he's going to get me in the next one. Well, he's not going to get me on the next one. I know I should block the other one, but I need to get rid of that two. It doesn't have enough power to, to eliminate him. All right, so. Oh my god, I just won. I just realized this. Watch this, watch this. What was I even thinking? This is amazing. Yeah, we just won. You know what, let's give him a little zap here as well. Oh, son of a gun, he quit. <laughs> oh, every time. I wish I could ever... I wish. I, <laughs> I wish I could ever just play the game all the way through. I never quit. I don't care if they got 55 hit points, I got one hit point, they got seven creatures, I've got none. I don't ever quit on my opponents. I let them get the thrill of that, that final attack and slaughter. Um, it's just annoying. Question of the day, does it annoy you when people quit or do you just not care? Let me know what you think down, down in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Hope that you enjoyed my game. If you have any tips or suggestions, uh, for my magic game. I'd sure appreciate it.